Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this Outdoors RV. This is a 25 RDS. And this is probably about my 12th RV and my second Outdoors RV. And I'm going to stick with them. These things are just amazing. So why are they amazing? Well, let's talk about that. A couple things you probably won't find I'll point out, but um, some of the more common things. Standard 10-gallon water heater. Super important. And this has some really good suspension um, and 16-inch wheels. All right now, again, you probably could get that on a lot of things. Um, but this is, you know, some serious heavy-duty suspension. And the axles are... I believe 5,000 pound axles. They're really, really big axles. And uh, there is a load of ground clearance. And as you can see, I am uh, camped, dry camping out in the desert. There is nobody out here, down in a little canyon. Um, so yeah, so that's a couple of the features that are important. Now something else, when you're looking at RVs that you probably won't find them very much, is that awning and it's not just any awning you can see it's covered in armor all right it's armored um, it's fully automatic and extending um, but you won't find that on too many RVs uh, and that really protects the awning I really like that another feature this ladder it's a huge massive super heavy-duty ladder and it doesn't budge. It's not like a little flimsy ladder that you find on a lot of RVs, so that's another one that sells me on it. This one I happen to get with the uh, the little hitch. Now that's rated for 350 pounds, and a lot of them you'll find are rated for 250 pounds, so that's another, another bit of it. Um, all LED lighting. All right. You can get power jacks and all that. I just didn't. Now, another feature. I've got an 80-gallon fresh water tank. So I carry a lot of water out here. I also really like the slides. So it's fully insulated underneath. And it's super strong and sturdy. Now here's something else. This door is for the outside shower. And it's a one inch thick door. I can almost tell you that every shower, outside shower you look at on every camper is gonna have a little flimsy plastic door. Not on the outdoors. So another another big thing. Those are for your um, dump dolls, your gray and black water dump. So I kind of like that feature. Don't see that on too many RVs, but you know, you do see them. And something that you, you know, may not be unique to the outdoors is this front cap. You got the super durable front guard and fiberglass front cap. It's really, really nice. I also like the um, little place there, to, the little caddy for your, um, your chains. Again, it's hard to go wrong with these. Really, really like it. I'm going to take you through the inside as well. But just wanted to kind of give you a good feel for the outside of the outdoors RV. And it got me down into this area here that isn't super easy to get into. I had to come, I came down this hill, which goes all the way up top, and uh, the main road's up there somewhere. Came all the way down here and have to take it up that hill going out. So it's, uh, you know, it's handy having all that ground clearance and heavy duty axles and off road suspension. <clears throat> it's just a really great RV. So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> oh, the other feature, just to point out, I got two solar panels up on the roof. You can have up to three on the roof. And uh, I find two is all I need, but 
I'm dry camping out here, no issue with power. Um, I, I do have my generator to run appliances and things, but um, yeah, it, really great RV. Highly recommend the Outdoors RV. And again, this is a 25 RDS. And if you have any questions, let me know. Doing an interior review now of the, uh, the 25 RDS Outdoors RV. This is a brand new RV. I've never taken it camping yet, so I just wanted to, before it's all moved in and packed up, I just wanted to do a quick review of this RV. I've been an, an outdoors RV fan for a long time now. I've owned many, many RVs, and I always, well, the last one I owned was an outdoors, and this one's my second outdoors. And other than maybe an Airstream, I can't see anything better in terms of total overall quality of an RV and I've owned many many RVs. I've owned at least 12 RVs in my life. These outdoors are really really good. So let's talk about why. So in this model this is the rear dinette and slide which you're looking at both of those here and I really like this floor plan because mostly it's just two of us out in the RV but if we have a guest the uh, sofa folds into a full sofa sleeper so it just folds out. Got a nice big closet here just to accommodate you know, whatever we may need to put in there. Maybe for a guest or whatever. And there's another drawer. There's little cup holders on either side. They just fold open. Put a cup in there, which is kind of cool. Now this it's what they call the uh, country dinette or the camper dinette. They have a name for it, but whatever they are, they are super strong. Like these tables do not wobble around or wiggle around. So that's something to look at in an RV. If you want to know quality wise, if you got a an RV that's meant to last, that these tables don't move. Right, they are absolutely solid. Got some storage under each seat, and the material is really quality material on these we also have over here some more storage there's lots of plugs it's just a big storage compartment and it's easy access to the plumbing if you need to get to it this is access to the water heater it's a 10 gallon uh, direct spark ignition gas electric water heater the control panel so you got a, we got tank heaters on this model for cold weather, which we don't really go in cold weather much, but we got an awning lighting for the outside LED awning, all your gauges and water heater controls. Really like the tapware they put in this. That's so one of those nice faucets with the different settings on it. It's a nice metal, that's all metal, that's not plastic. And these are a stone surface, solid surface countertop. All right, and these are heavy duty. It's a big farm sink. In here, you can see. A lot of counter space in this model. We have this flip up here. Um, if you want to flip up for more storage you can extend it out but shoot you got so much counter space that was one of the selling points in this one plenty of overhead storage microwave of course uh, really nice cooktop and uh, again a nice quality unit here backsplash knife holders got your fans and lights all in here nice microwave really big oven right and there's no messing around with trying to stick a match in there to light it it's all uh, electronic spark both uh, the stove and the cooktop so that's nice lots of shelving in here little spot there for maybe some cleaning gear big pot drawer this is just a huge space in here 
And I really like this surface. This is just a nice, you put your coffee pot, toast, or whatever. There's plugs up here. Another plug here. Plug here. You know, so you get a lot of plugs. There's, for here, plug, USB ports and 12 volt outlet underneath the table, which is nice. The flooring is great. This flooring is really, really strong and sturdy. It's supposed to be like dog proof flooring so it's really good scratch resistant got LEDs here that, that sofa is super comfortable here's your entertainment center 40 inch LCD that's a 12 volt TV I've got two solar panels on this for a total of uh, let's see 340 watts lots of storage here for various items um, I got the fantastic vents, so this one is controlling the one in the main room here. Oh, and of course there's the skylight, which is super nice. It's hard to find these <laughs> skylights in RVs these days, but it's a really nice feature. Um, so back here, again, this is just another light switch. It's your furnace. Kind of see the TV, how it's all mounted, and there's a booster back there. Alright, so that's this section. Now we'll go back here into the hallway and let's go into this room first. This is the bathroom. Nice big sink. Again, that's kind of hard to find. Usually you have just barely enough room to put anything there. You got a porcelain toilet. There's a heater vent in here, which is really good to have. That actually happens to blow right up and dry your towels. <laughs> so that's good too. Um, hard wall shower with the skylight I put that shower head in it's not the stock one the stock one matches the hose that's a super good shower head it's uh adds a lot of pressure and it saves about I don't know I think they said 30 percent on your water so even though this has an 80 gallon freshwater tank you get a lot of water use out of that um, head so it's a really good addition big roomy shower um, it's really nice and again you just got all the you know storage I like the stainless steel sink you got a fantastic vent now this also has turn on your uh, your water pump here so you can turn it on at the main panel down at the entry or you can turn it on here so if you forget like at night I like to turn them off at night because they run sometimes and they're kind of noisy so you can get up in the middle of the night if you have to turn on your water pump you can or if you forget to turn it on you can just turn it on here instead of walking through the coach it's your lights and again the fantastic fan these are really awesome things by the way all right let's uh move on over here now to the master so there's a door to get out of the coach here another door that's kind of nice because you can close off the the coach and go in and out without bothering anybody that might be back there it's got the shades down but they're nice quality shades usb 12 volt and plug on both sides of the bed that's your solar controller so again i got two solar panels i could have put a third one up there plus you could put one on the ground there's a plug so I think it supports just over 500 watts in total. It's like 550 watts the whole system will support. And I got 340 on here now. And I got a TV. That's a 24 inch. Again, that's 12 volt. So you watch TV on battery. Solar panels, you know, run it. So it's all, it's all good. This is nice too. I got another closet and more storage here. And there's a big storage on both sides of the bed you got these big drawers and of course a massive storage underneath the bed if you flip it up super comfy really quiet but that is my 24 RDS master bedroom so hopefully that was informative Again, uh, 
really like this RV, really like outdoors RVs. Highly recommend them if you're looking for a high quality RV. You really can't go wrong with these. Hope that was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about my outdoors RV, let me know.